Hi, I'm Laura GB and welcome to part three in my Power Platform Solutions and Power BI series. In part one, we added a Power BI report and data set to a solution. And in this video, we're going to use that report, we're going to embed it in a form and then filter that report to match the record that we've embedded it on. So let's head to our solution and here we are in our solution we can see we've got our data set and our report from part one we've even got our dashboard from part two and this time we're going to edit a form so what we're going to do is we're going to go into tables and to accounts and to forms and in the solution i have one form the main account form so let's click into that and previously i added an expenses tab so there we are, there would be the expenses list there. Now, when you're editing a form, it's showing you the new form, so there is no data. So what we're going to do is we are then going to embed our form. So we're going to pick components, and ignore the dialog boxes that come up, and then we're going to scroll down and we're going to look, for, we're going to get to Power BI, and there's Power BI report, and I'm going to drag and I'm going to dump that into my area here see I've got I've got a section there and I'm going to put it in there and it's asking you which report do I want to see okay now there's only one report I've got in this solution so only, so the drop down immediately gives you that one and I'm going to click done straight away we'll come back to this in a second but for now I'm going to click done to make sure that it works and there you go we get our report it's unfiltered but we get our report so that's part one done we put our we put our report here so next we need to filter this report okay so the filtering this report requires a string that looks horrible the first time and we're going to do the simplest filter we want to filter it to match the account that we're showing to only show the expenses for that account so I'm going to put on the screen um, so here on the screen we can see the formula that we're going to build, okay? And the yellow highlighted parts are going to come from the Power BI model. So those two parts, the table name and the column name. The turquoise highlighted parts, okay, is the account ID. That's, that's what's coming from this record. So that comes from Dataverse. That whole string is what we're going to build, okay? Now, the account and account ID Let's just go to Power BI for a second. So let's switch back onto my into my browser and into Power BI. How you find out the column names? Either go to the Power BI report in Power BI desktop, or if I click on the data set, I can see over here on the right hand side I've got my list of tables, and I can expand up. And there you are. I now have got table account, and it's got a column called account ID. So you can check the names there. So, switching back into here, the lovely formatted string that I showed you, you can't actually use. You have to remove all the returns and all the tabs and all those things to make it look nice and neat. It needs to be no formatting in there, okay? Otherwise, it doesn't work. If you go to my blog post, link is down below, you'll see I explain all that again and I also give you a code to copy which will show you a filter into an account. And I, I recommend you do this one first. So what we're going to do now is we're going to, we're going to add that code in. So I click onto the, um, the Power BI report, okay? And down here, I go to components, and we can see it says Power BI report here on the right, the bottom on the right hand side. And I click onto there, and up comes that panel we had earlier. And we're going to scroll down, And there is a JSON filter string. And I'm just gonna you can see that's a box we can expand up. So I'm just gonna click on to I'm just gonna really get a, copy the code and I'm gonna paste it in here. Okay, and there you are, it's got the, the account part in there, the account ID and etc cetera, etc cetera in there. And then we're going to click done. And the report refreshes. 
And because this is an empty report, my report refreshes to show me no data. And that's exactly what I want. I've got that right. OK, now we are going to go save and publish. And then we're going to go back to the solution. And let's go to our apps. And let's go to play our app. And let's go into Bluebird Bakery and go to the Expenses tab. And there we go, we've got a filtered report. The three rows that are here, we can see are the bottom of three rows here. And it's filtered to Bluebird Bakery. So, this video, we embedded a report into a, into a form and we then filtered it to match that form. I'm Lord GB. If you haven't already, please press subscribe. Take care now.